One of the things that is happening now um, is that an increase in the number of destitute people that are coming to see us. Uh, to, in Decem to December last year, we only saw 24 new instances of somebody coming and saying, I'm destitute, I need help. To December this year, we've seen 75. So the numbers are definitely on the rise. That is as partly because there was lots and lots of people in home office accommodation and now that Brexit is done, they're starting to work through that and uh, so their eyes are coming off certain things and going on to other things. Uh, we're also seeing a number of an increase in the number of people using the food store. So all these factors are coming together to tell us that there is going to be an increasing problem with asylum seeker destitution in the future. Because what a lot of people don't realise is when somebody's refused, they're not taken to a plane and sent home. They've got 21 days to uh, take part in a voluntary return programme. Because after the 21 days, all your housing and your money has stopped and you become homeless. And so <laughs> that is a dreadful problem. It's a dreadful way to run a system. Um, and and we're we're now seeing that that regime, if you like, uh, being prosecuted a little bit harder, enforced lockouts. Uh, if you nip down to the shops, you can come back and find the locks to your house changed. You can't get back in. You can't get your your stuff. It's just a very unfeeling and unsympathetic system, which treats people as less than human beings. You couldn't treat people this way unless you saw them as inferior or lesser than you and that is a problem and that's something that I didn't think I would see in Britain. Britain, fair, tolerant Britain. No, it's not really. It's got this nasty underbelly and uh, the more people that find out about it, the better. Um, what would you want to see change to, if, to address the destitution problem? Well, people shouldn't be made homeless. If the government has really decided that you have no basis of, of being here, um, then they should remove you. Now that might sound a bit odd coming from somebody who supports asylum seekers and refugees, but asylum seekers and refugees are just like any other people on the planet. There's nice ones and nasty ones, good ones and bad ones, uh, and not everybody's straightforward. So if it's a clear-cut case that you, you haven't got leave to remain here, then don't just let somebody drift off, because mm -hmm. that costs us in terms of mental health. In capacity in hospitals, it costs us in A&E, it costs us when people have to go and do illegal jobs because they can't get work anywhere else, they haven't got permission to work. So then you bring in the police, you bring in the courts, you bring in the probation service. So how much extra is all this costing when you could house somebody until it was time to go? And it's, I'm a taxpayer and I really object to buy my hard-earned money being wasted and I think the asylum system is a complete waste of money. It should be done in a much more humane and much fairer way.